Alrighty, we have controls now, but how do we make those controls a little bit more useful? And then we can we can move our our arm a little bit. <coughs> but wouldn't it be nice if we could also rotate the hand a little bit? So let's just undo that. And what we're gonna do is use the constrain. Right click on here, we go to character tags, and it's the first one that's constrained. What we want is uh, PSR or position scale rotation. We want uh, we want these. Add now we have a target. We can use our wrist goal <coughs> for our target. And now when we rotate rotate that around it doesn't do anything it's because we have to also right here actually these are the wrong ones these are the PSRs we want sorry about that we rotate this around it works <coughs> we move it around so far then look what happens that's because the position is set so we actually don't want that. We just want the rotation and scale. Or scale and rotation. <coughs> but if we do try to scale this, look what happens. If we try to scale it on this, the object mode, nothing will happen. But on this, it will happen. So we can leave that there. Probably won't be scaling anything. Usually, usually you'd probably use a deformer. <coughs> So, okay. Now we have that moving around. But, let's notice when we uh, rotate the wrist. Usually when we rotate our wrists, we have a little bit of this arm moving also. So how can we fix that? Well, that's where we add another part of the arm. <coughs> Oops. this back this up just a little bit and notice how it's kind of funny it looks like it goes over there but it's actually up here what we're going to do is we're going to change this bone from to child to axis so it's set and it automatically ends right here and we're going to name this or we're going to change this to axis or also to axis just kind of run that up there <clears throat> so now they look kind of like what we would like to see and to do this we're going to use an espresso tag and you can have the tag anywhere you can have it on here or on here doesn't matter I'd like to keep things with the controls so it's the very bottom one I know you can't see it espresso so we're going to do this based off we could do it based off the wrist goal I like to keep those independent, so I'm just gonna oops get rid of the object there. Delete that. I'm just gonna stick the wrist in here. <coughs> so really all we want to do is just kinda rotate it a lot. Not quite as much as the wrist, but just a, a little bit. And it's along it's along the uh the B there. <clears> or <throat> the Z axis. Right click, go to new node, calculate, just regular math. Of course, we want division. We want two, we just want to divide it in half. We want rotation of B. Rotation of B. Just kind of stick those in there. Oops. Now, when we rotate our wrist goal, it, it is cons this is constrained to this controller. <coughs> so when this moves, we should see that move also. It's not ah, but it's not working. <coughs> I mean, the bone is working. The skin isn't working. We gotta change the weight. So we go back to our tag. We add this in here. 
Doesn't really matter what order it's in, I just like to keep it in order there. Use our weight tool. <coughs> and just add on the weight. Ah, notice it does that. We're actually not in our default position for the bones. So that's what happens. So if we go to set bind pose, it'll bind it with the po with the bones or the joints as they are. So ah, look what happens. So what we'd probably want to do is bring this back to where we would expect it. <clears throat> then go to set bind pose. Let me move it over a little bit more. Set bind pose. <clears throat> then use the weight tool, which I have set to W. And then we can add the weight there. And notice it still still does both sides there. All right. Ooh. Now we go back to our control here. <coughs> here we go. We can, we can go ahead and close this also. Now when we rotate it, it'll move. It won't move quite as much, but you see it works fairly nicely. It gets rid of that nasty twist you would otherwise get. You still get a little bit of twist, but you can uh, <coughs> you can tweak it. You can tweak it to be fairly smooth. You can tweak it all day long. <laughs> and at some point, you just gotta stop and say, ah, that's good enough. But it really depends on what you want. So now we have those controls. And we can move the hand. Move the arm, and you generally do the more or less the same thing independently with the fingers, probably. And down here with the legs, the foot. Now the tail and spine are a little bit different. The tail and the spine are. Would be, we'll use a spline. You don't have to use a spline, but I think it would be easier. So, <clears throat> and again, I have this. This is a parent of the goal. They don't have to be. You can keep them separate. If you'd like to. That way you have independent control over that. So there we go. We have controls. But remember, if you want to bind the pose again, better make sure you have this where all the bones are in a default location. Otherwise, bad things will happen. So let's just undo everything we've moved. Control Y. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Set bind pose. All right. We're ready to go then. Let's just leave that in default, the default position there. Because everything is working well. And again, I hold down on shift. To move this along one act or two different axes at once. All right, moving on. <coughs>